In the last video, we talked about how to solve the SIR equations numerically. Now we're going to take a different approach. So let's suppose we have a system governed by the SIR equations, where we have a transmission coefficient A and an attrition coefficient B, unless we're talking about epidemics when it's a recovery coefficient. And in particular, we talked about a model where, where transmission happened with A equals 0. 0.000002, and attrition happened with B equals 130. Our product was used on average for a month before people discarded it. Well, if you look at the equation for I, for I, I is going to keep growing as long as I prime is positive. And I prime, you can factor out an I. It's AS minus B times I, which is AI times S minus B over A. And since A is positive and I is positive, the sign of I prime is the same as the sign of S minus B over A. In other words, if S is bigger than B over A, then I prime is positive and I grows. If S is less than B over A, then I prime is negative and I shrinks. So this number B over A, it's called a threshold. If you're above the threshold, you grow. If you're below the threshold, you shrink. But remember, it's not whether I is above or below the threshold. It's whether S is above or below the threshold. If you have lots of potential customers, you grow. If you don't have enough potential customers, you shrink. Okay. In particular, with the numbers that we used, the threshold comes out to be 16,667. So we started off with 40,000 potentials, and we didn't reach our peak until we were down to 16,667. So we had a long way to grow. That's good news. So what does that tell us about our strategies? Well, if you're doing marketing, growth is good. You want to have more actives than B over A. And so in particular, you want the bar to be low. And you make the bar low by making B low. So you want to make B small. B is the rate at which your customers abandon you. So if you add new features at spaced intervals to keep customers' interest, if you offer rewards to long-term users, and of course, if you have a good product, then people will stick with your product for a long time, and B will be small. You want to make A big. You want to encourage word of mouth. Maybe you provide an easy link to Yelp or Facebook on your app. Maybe you just send emails asking your users to rate the app. Maybe you provide some rewards for people who recruit new users. Those are all tricks to get the transmission to go up. And finally, you want to go where S is big to begin with. No matter where the bar is, you want to be above it. So if you're selling lemonade, go to Texas in the summer. Don't go to Minnesota in the winter. Okay. Now, if you're managing an epidemic, it's the opposite. In the epidemic, growth is bad. So we want to be below the threshold. And you, you do that by making A small. You make the threshold as big as possible by making the denominator small. And ways to do that, you, use, you wash your hands. You use uh, hand sanitizer. That reduces the transmission. You cover your mouth when you sneeze. You stay home when you're sick. If you're in charge of things, maybe you cancel the big gatherings where a lot of people would get together and sneeze on each other. In extreme circumstances, you quarantine people. You might also want to make B big, but you can't. That's a matter of biology. The flu lasts a week, no matter what you do. There are some diseases where drugs can help a little bit. Mostly, you just have to wait it out. There's nothing you can do on the B end. And finally, you want to make S small. And that's where vaccinations come in. Every time somebody gets a vac vaccine, they stop being susceptible, and they're just like, and it's as if they've become recovered. They're immune. So as long as the number of susceptibles is below B over A, the epidemic will never start. It'll just fizzle. This is called herd immunity. If enough people are resistant, nobody gets sick. So the lesson is, this fall, you should go get a flu shot to keep yourself from getting the flu. 
But even more important, you should go get a flu shot to keep the rest of us from getting the flu.